This is your Honker highlight. Thunder Bay brought the tying run to the plate in the ninth inning. But the Honkers turned to their closer, Eric Sakula, to escape the jam, and he induced a game-ending double play on the first pitch he threw to seal a 6-3 victory and earn his 12th save of the season. Brian Flynn pitched six and two-thirds strong innings to earn his fourth win for the Honkers, and Aaron Dunsmore added his fourth homer of the season. Rochester is now six and two on the half, while Thunder Bay is at four and three. The Border Cats jumped on the board first, scoring an unearned run in the second inning, but Flynn would shake it off and continue to put up zeros while Rochester climbed back against Thunder Bay starter Tyler Powell. The Honkers threatened several times early and finally got on the board in the fourth, tying the game at 1-1 on an RBI single by Chris Otten. Rance Roundy scored on the play, but the throw to the plate beat him by several seconds and it took an elusive slide to escape the tag. The Hawkers would go on to take the lead in the inning when they added another run on an RBI single by Mitch Character to make it 2-1. The score stayed there until the sixth when the Cats tied it up on a two-out RBI single by Derek Hamblin and chased Flynn from the game. Scott McGuff came on in relief and escaped the inning for Rochester. The score wouldn't stay tied long, though, as the Hawkers jumped back out in front in the bottom half of the sixth. Dunsmore connected on his home run with two outs in the inning to make it 3-2 Rochester, and the Hawkers doubled the lead at 4-2 with an RBI single by William Arnold. Rochester nearly added a fifth run on a single by Corey Jones, but an unusual play at the plate ended the rally. Drew Berline charged home and escaped the tag of catcher Dean Forthen and started walking toward the dugout to greet his teammates, but the umpire never called him safe. Apparently, Berline had failed to touch the plate, and Forthun eventually chased him toward the Hawkers' dugout and applied the tag. Rochester argued the call, and Corey Jones was eventually ejected. Rochester would score two more in the seventh to make it 6-2, but the Border Cats nearly came back in the ninth. After McGuff allowed a run to score and a tying run to reach the plate, the Hawkers brought in Sakula, but he induced a double play ball off the bat of Marty Johnson to end the game on the only pitch he threw. Pull for glove, steps on the bag, and throws to first for the game-ending double play. It takes just one pitch for Eric Sakula to end this one. And you can chalk one up for the good guys.